when we started high school, our district was just geographically isolated, not so it didn't belong to any high school. So we take our pick and go to high school in Portland, but it was like five miles away or something. And so he he'd give us a ride in the morning when he went into work. And then we were only about a mile and a quarter or something, so we could walk that easily. So, yeah. so that's the way we'd get to work. I'd get up in the morning and milk our cow. <laughs> Did By you? Get up. Yeah, somebody had something like that. Milk the cow. What else did you have? You had a cow? You had one cow. Just one cow for all milk and such. Really? And what, did you have any other animals? Chickens, yeah. Mm-hmm flock of chickens to take care of and, and we often had a few rabbits and rabbit pens and, and you would uh, have them for dinner yeah oh. but, but the neighbor it was really interesting among the neighbors that, that they grow rabbits for eating you know and uh, uh, but when we sit down to eat it this was always oh this is Bruce's rabbit and Bruce would be eating Doug or David's rabbit yeah. But that's what the parents would tell them, see. Yeah. Whether or not it actually was, <laughs> it, it made a real difference. <laughs> it wasn't your own pet rabbit. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, so uh, when did you go? How old were you, were you when you uh, went to college? Can you hold for a second? Yes. Sorry, I'll ask you. Yeah. How, yeah. how old were you when you went to college? I started college when I was 17, and uh, it was a big adventure because mm -hmm. it was 80 miles or so away and uh, a big deal, you know. And years later, I got a PhD at University of California, Berkeley, and uh, I found in that environment that state colleges and things were all kind of looked down upon. If you, you know, Stanford or Harvard or Berkeley were the kind of peak like that, but I don't know, when I went there, and I, I still have a very fond place in my heart for the Oregon State mm -hmm. uh, College. Now it's called Oregon State University. Um, but, gee, I arrived there on the Greyhound bus, and I made arrangements to through some other friends that I could start living in a cooperative house where um, you know, a bunch of young men would join together and rent the house and uh, do their own management and all of that. Uh, so, you know, I carried my luggage, <laughs> I guess it's like a mile or so up <laughs> the streets to this place because they're just totally, uh, and they were like, um, the, the thing that I could have made me able to afford it is this was during the war and uh, there were shipyards in Portland that sprung up doing a very healthy business to, they were building ocean going freighters and uh, uh, one of my friends father and elder found out found out that if we went to a welding school nearby in 50 Something hundred and fifty dollars or something like for that we could uh, and we could uh, for four weeks we could have learned enough to get to be an actual full scale journeyman welder in the mm -hmm. shipyards. I don't know whether his father pulled things in the union or what, but so I, I had that money I'd saved to go to the college, which wasn't enough, but I could pay that, and that was an investment that really paid off because. Immediately got a job then for the rest of the summer as a welder in the shipyards. Mm -hmm. And uh, so the first two years, the summers would earn enough money for me to live through the rest of the year at school. Just